let's move on to adding your bookable staff. These are your staff members who perform services and need their own column and timely. I'll show you how to add receptionists, admins, or other staff that don't require their own calendars in the next section of this guide, so don't worry about them just yet. To add bookable staff to your Timely account, first navigate to the Setup option in the main menu and select Staff. Next, click on the Add New Staff button located in the top right-hand corner of the page. Keep in mind that if you're on a staff-based pricing plan, adding bookable staff will result in an additional charge. If you're adding staff in the middle of your billing cycle, you'll be notified of the prorated cost for the rest of the billing period, as well as the monthly cost of that staff member going forward. However, if you have more than eight staff members, you'll most likely be on a fixed pricing plan and can add up to 20 staff without incurring any additional charges. So you won't see this pop up. Once you've reviewed and confirmed the additional cost if applicable, click continue to proceed with adding the new staff member. Here, you'll be able to input your staff member's information, such as their name, contact details, address, and preferred pronouns. You can also choose to display their pronouns to clients online by checking this box. In the booking options section, decide if you would like the staff member to be available online, and if you'd like them to show on your mini website. A lot of the time, not all staff members can perform every service that your business offers. So if you have services set up in Timely already, here is where you can assign specific services to specific staff. Don't worry if you don't have services set up just yet. You can come back and edit this later. Within the personal information section, you have the ability to include an alias or nickname for the staff member that will be displayed to clients when booking online. Additionally, you can enter their job title, a brief bio, and their registered provider number if applicable. You can also customize the reminder and notification emails that clients receive when booking with the staff member. It's also recommended to upload a photo of the staff member, as this will appear on the mini website and during the online booking process, providing a more personalized experience for clients. The final option of this page is the calendar sync feature. It is designed for staff members who have external Google, Apple, or Outlook calendars they want to sync with their Timely account. Once you check the box, additional options will appear. If you have a Google Calendar, you can set up a two-way sync that will enable appointments from Timely to be dropped into your Google Calendar and vice versa. Click Activate Google Calendar Sync and follow the instructions. For other calendars, you can set up a one-way sync by copying and pasting the webhook URL into your other calendar. Here you can also choose to add the customer as an attendee to the event in your calendar if desired. When you're finished, click Save. Next, you'll be prompted to set up their normal or usual working hours. And if you have multiple locations, you will see tabs that allow you to set up working hours for each location. Select the day to roster on by clicking the circle next to it. Then specify the start and end time and include any breaks as necessary. Repeat this step for the remaining days of the staff member's working week. The can be booked every option at the top determines the time intervals that will be displayed as available for online booking. For instance, if it's set to 30 minutes, clients will see time slots such as 9, 9.30 and 10. Once done, click save to apply your changes. Congratulations, you've just successfully added your first staff member to your Timely account. Now repeat this process and add in the rest of your staff if required. If you have reception staff, administrators, or external ex consultants that need access to your Timely account but don't require a column for appointments, you can add these staff to your account as administrators. There is no charge for adding administrators to your account and you can add as many as you need. Head to Setup and select Administrators from the main menu. Click on the Add Administrator button. Enter the administrator's details, first name, last name, and email, like this. Upload a photo if desired and click Save. The administrator will then be added to your account. Now that you have your bookable staff and administrators in Timely, it's important to give them access and set their permissions so they can log in. 
This step is crucial in maintaining the security of your account. Providing each staff member with their own login ensures that you have a history of their activity and in the event of a resignation, their access can easily be revoked. To get started, head to Account, then click Staff Access. At the top of your page, you'll see a header labelled Pin Switching. This feature in Timely allows your staff to switch between users quickly without having to use emails or passwords, making it ideal for businesses with multiple staff members who need to switch between accounts efficiently. To enable pin switching in your Timely account, simply click the Manage button and a pop-up will appear. Toggle on pin switching and select the lockout duration, which will determine how long Timely will remain idle before requiring a pin to access. If you prefer to not have a timeout, you can select the option for never. Finally, click the Save button to save your changes. To set up access for your staff, click on Give Access next to their name, and it will take you to the access settings for that specific staff member. From there, you can choose whether to grant them email and PIN access or only PIN access. With email and PIN access, staff members can log in when they are outside of the workplace, while only PIN access limits access to the workplace because someone with email access needs to be logged in first. By default, staff members have access to the locations where they are rostered, but you can grant access to other locations too. You can also choose whether staff can only see their own calendars or all staff calendars, and whether they have view only or full access to the calendar. The dashboard section controls staff members' access to targets and activity, and you can choose whether they have all, some, or no access. In the sales section, you can determine access to sales areas, such as raising invoices and processing refunds, as well as the ability to edit prices at checkout. The customer section controls access to customer information and whether staff members can see contact details and notes. You can also allow or restrict access to the messages area and the ability to send SMS campaigns. In the report section, you can set the reports you'd like the staff members to have access to. And the stock access area controls staff's access to the different stock areas in Timely. The setup area controls staff members' access to all items listed under the setup menu, including your business information, sales tools, notifications, and administration. And finally, granting access to the account tab enables staff to view your billing details payment history, and account invoices. We generally recommend against giving staff members access to the account area unless absolutely necessary. Once you're finished, click Save, and Timely will send the staff member an email with a link to set up their login details. If a staff member's schedule changes because they might be taking a well-deserved vacation or picking up extra shifts during the holiday season, you can easily make adjustments in the roster by going to Setup and roster. At the top of the page, you can select a location from the drop-down. Just remember, you can only view one location at a time. Next, choose a staff member or select between all staff or working staff only. Then pick the month and the year you want to view. Once you've made your selections, click go. You can easily roster off a staff member for the day by clicking the tick or roster them on by clicking the X. This will use the default hours for the location. However, if you need to modify the start and end times, simply click on the time and make the necessary changes. Modified days that differ from the staff member's normal working hours will be highlighted in orange in the roster for easy recognition. Top tip, it's important to click Save Roster button before moving to another staff member, location, or month to avoid losing your progress. If you need to make one-off changes to a staff member's schedule, you can quickly roster them on or off directly from the calendar. Simply click the clock icon next to the staff member's name to adjust their hours. A pop-up will appear, allowing you to roster them as working or not working, and set their hours and break. Don't forget to click Save to ensure their changes are saved.